Hi everyone, in this video I put together some super helpful tips and a checklist for when you're camping at music festivals like Tomorrowland, DEF CON 1, EDC, um, Lost Lands, Electric Forest, Bonnaroo, and basically all of them. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Cotton Candy. I travel the world vlogging and reviewing music festivals, so definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see exclusive videos of music festivals all over the world. First of all, I want to let you guys know that there are timestamps to each of the sections that I'm talking about in the description in case you're looking for some specific information. First, I'm going to talk about the different types of camping options that they have at music festivals, and then I'm going to give you a camping festival checklist and then a few more helpful tips. I figured I would make this universal music festival tips and checklist video that applies to music festivals like Tomorrowland, DEF CON 1, Lost Lands, Nocturnal Wonderland, and basically all camping festivals for the most part. I also made this list on Amazon of all the things I talk about in this video in case you still need to get them. You don't have to buy the stuff on Amazon, you can just use the list to see the pictures and specs of the stuff I'm talking about. So you can buy it all somewhere else, I just thought it would be more helpful to see like pictures instead of me giving you just like a list of words to follow. Each festival is different and has different camping options, but I'll do a quick overview of some of the most popular ones. There's tent only camping where you just get like a spot and you have to bring your own tent and camping supplies like sleeping bags and pillows. All music festivals usually have this option. The only one I know of that doesn't is EDC, only has pre-set up tent options or RV camping. And then there's car camping, which is just like a bigger spot. So it has room for your car, but you still have to bring your own tent and camping supplies. Festivals like Bonnaroo, Lost Lands, and Nocturnal Wonderland have this option. All these festivals I've mentioned, except for Nocturnal, has pre-set up camping options. Sometimes that includes just a pre-set up tent and you still have to bring all your own camping gear anyway. Anyways, then there are pre-set up options that come with like everything you need, including the tent, air mattress, sleeping bags, a light, a lock for your tent, and more. Which is really nice when you have to fly into a different state or a different country for a camping festival, so you don't have to fly with all that camping stuff. Basically all camping festivals have like a general store where you can buy everything you need, sleeping bags, chairs, and all that good stuff. Check which camping option you have for the festival you're going to and keep it in mind as I'm going through this checklist. One of the biggest things that's going to influence what you pack for a camping music festival is the weather. So definitely do your research. It's important to know if it's really hot or really cold or if it rains. Most festivals are cold at night. I've never been to a music festival that wasn't freezing at night so definitely do your research and be prepared. So let's go over the camping essentials in the case that you need to bring your own tent and camping supplies. If you don't have a tent yet or if the one you have isn't ideal for traveling like if you're flying there are even options that fit perfectly fine if like you need to travel with it and keep it in your suitcase when they like fold up or fold down um, compartmentalize they are just like this big they're different sizes so yeah and those aren't even expensive. If the festival usually rains you're probably gonna want a trap which is just like a tarp that goes under your tent in case it rains it prevents like water from like pooling right under your tent more essentials that you're going to need to bring of course are sleeping bags and blankets and pillows either an air mattress or an air pad if you are camping with a lot of people in your tent like if there's four people in one tent you're not going to want to bring a bunch of air mattresses because it'll just make it really congested in there stick with the sleeping pads in those situations they take up less room and they work just fine you're gonna want a battery powered lantern like a light so you can see in your tent most tents come with like a hook at the top and you can just hang it like a lantern you'll also want to bring locks for your tents to be safe um, these aren't even expensive and they're universal you can use them not just for your tent but also for your luggage if you're traveling if you purchased one of the preset up tent options it usually comes with a lot of this stuff so just check and make sure what yours comes with but even if your preset up tent comes with like a sleeping bag or a blanket definitely bring more blankets this is just a thin fleece blanket that I use for traveling and when I'm going to camping festivals it rolls up really small in your luggage but it's really warm so it's a good backup in case it gets really cold out at night. Other big camping items you might want to bring are ice chests like coolers so you can put your food or drinks and keep them cold with ice. One really big tip I have especially for people who don't usually camp is do not put like bags of ice in your cooler to try and keep stuff cold. Bagged ice melts really fast. The way that you keep your food and drinks cold all weekend is to use blocks of ice. They sell like these blocks of gel that you freeze like you would use them in your lunchbox but they make 
bigger ones for when you're camping. You just freeze a bunch of those and fill up your cooler with it and then add bagged ice and it'll keep your food and drinks cold all weekend. You can bring camping folding chairs, you can bring like a small fold up table. If you're flying, you're probably not bringing any of this stuff, but some festival camping stores will have this if you wanna rent or buy them. Don't forget your basics like paper towels and napkins, Clorox wipes to clean up, don't forget trash bags and Ziploc bags come in handy for a bunch of reasons. Now let's talk about some personal items you'll need for camping. Of course, you're gonna need a towel for when you're showering. You can bring just a regular towel, but this is a camping towel and it is magic. It's really thin, it dries really fast. See, it rolls up and fits in this, and this is actually part of a set, the pink one and purple one, have three towels that fit in here, so it's really convenient for traveling. And they're really soft, they're not like uncomfortable. They're so soft. You're gonna want sandals not just to go from your tent to the showers But to also use in the showers because they're communal so that's kind of gross So don't just bring regular sandals make sure they're slip proof so you don't fall in the shower One of the biggest most important things on this list in my opinion is baby wipes baby wipes are so vital They help you keep clean especially for music festivals that are actually in nature like Lost Lands and Bonnaroo and Nocturnal like you really get dirty and baby wipes just save Staying hydrated is so important, so I would recommend obviously having water in your tent. Having a big water jug really comes in handy. North American festivals have free water refill stations, so you can bring a jug and just keep filling it up. You're gonna wanna bring a mirror with you, of course, and all music festivals usually have the rule of no glass in the campsite, whether it's bottles, and especially not a glass mirror. The solution is to bring a plastic mirror, a shatterproof plexiglass mirror, and you can find those on Amazon. I'll actually put that in my camping checklist. I've used them and they work just as good as a regular mirror. You obviously need to bring toiletries like shampoo and conditioner and body wash. I highly recommend getting a good um, face and body scrub to use because camping you get really dirty. Again, if you're flying, you can buy like a little toiletry kit that comes with like a carrying case and all the different little things you'll need. I travel a lot so I have my own carrying case and then I have like empty tubes that I put my own shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in. I just prefer to have my own stuff and I travel enough that it would just be expensive if I kept having to buy the little ones. Don't forget to bring a brush or comb if you have to. Don't forget your makeup. Make a checklist for your makeup and check it twice. I have a checklist for my makeup and somehow I still forgot my makeup sponges at EDC and I was just like screwed. More often than not, the campsite at a music festival is really noisy because people are up all night partying. So it's gonna be really vital for you to bring earplugs for sleeping and a face mask because you'll be sleeping outside in the morning when the sun is already coming up and your tent doesn't always like block out all the lights so it's just good to have the eye mask. Again, I already mentioned this, but staying hydrated at a music festival is so important. So what you can do is bring a water bottle with you. Make sure you always have it filled up with water. You can bring a hydration pack. Most people in North America take hydration packs to music festivals so you can like walk around with that in the campsite. You'll want a pair of sunglasses so you don't go blind. You might want to invest in like a hat or a sun visor to keep like the sun from burning your face. <laughs> You wanna bring sunscreen so you don't burn. And a lot of people like to test this and like not wear sunscreen and they get like super sunburned and it's just good. Just wear it just in case. Most festivals will not let you in with aerosol cans so you cannot get like the spray sunscreen. You have to bring like the lotion one. Fanny packs are my favorite thing to walk around with in a campsite. I think it's better than like a purse. It's nice to have things just right there. I usually use like a hydration pack when I'm in the festival itself, but just for camping, I invest in a fanny pack. Don't forget hand sanitizer, which isn't just for the campsite, it's for the festival too. You're around all these people and hand sanitizer is gonna help you not get sick. Pedialyte is a really great tool for helping you not get dehydrated at music festivals or in general. They officially have an adult brand and it helps you replenish your electrolytes. So does Gatorade but Gatorade has a lot of sugar. Each festival has different rules about what kind of alcohol you can bring and how much to the campsite. Usually no liquor is allowed and you absolutely cannot bring any kind of glass to the campsite, so no glass bottles. But yeah, just check the official alcohol policy on that festival website. Some other miscellaneous items you can bring to a music festival are like a yoga mat. So I usually always travel with a yoga mat because it just comes in handy. Like with Tomorrowland, it was so hot that we could not sleep in our tent. So I slept on my yoga mat outside my tent in like what little shade I could find. Yoga mats save lives and they have ones that are really thin that'll fit in your suitcase. I put some in that Amazon list like the one I have. You might want to bring a bandana because more often than not, a camping festival can be really dusty and dirty. 
and even if it's not like the music festival itself will have like a lot of pyrotechnic smoke and cigarette smoke and so these just come in handy gel insoles are like my favorite item to be on any music festival checklist you just switch out the insoles in your shoes for these ones and they really help with foot fatigue which is important because you're gonna be walking and dancing and partying all weekend and people would be surprised how much foot fatigue actually affects the whole body like I guarantee you if you've never used gel insoles before and you try them out now you'll see a difference in your overall energy level at this festival compared to your last don't forget your phone charger you can bring a battery or power bank to charge your phone and they have solar panel ones that are really awesome for camping and camping music festivals that's a big question people always have is how do I charge my phone and like I just mentioned you can invest in a solar power bank some of the more expensive pre set up camping options at festivals will often have outlets and electricity in them though if you do have outlets in your tents do not plug your major electronics in it like do not plug a hair straightener or a blow dryer because you run the risk of burning it out and all music festivals will have designated phone charging stations for you to charge your phone that way all festivals have a prohibited items list they're all slightly different so go review the one for the festival you're going to there are a few things that are always the same on each prohibited items list like no weapons of course or anything that can be used as a weapon and I already mentioned this but no glass of any kind no mirrors and no glass bottles and if you have to bring a prescription medication just make sure you bring a doctor's note with you all festivals are usually really good at making their campsites accessible for attendees with disabilities. Service animals like guide dogs are usually allowed. They usually have preferred camping spots in the campsite, so like by entrances or walkways. They have accessible bathrooms and showers. You can find out more information on each festival's website, usually under camping and FAQ, frequently asked questions. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I do have that Amazon list in the description in case you want to look at all the different pictures of the stuff I talked about. I also have other helpful Amazon lists on that page like packing essentials, so things I use when I'm traveling for festivals that make packing and traveling just a little bit easier. Definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting vlogs of all these festivals I'm going to. And always say hi to me if you ever see me out festivaling. I promise I don't bite. Thanks again for watching and until next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.